Okay, so here we have the Keverec 1500 post hole borer with the radio remote controlled operation. Obviously you have your, your complete crane with the post hole borer, you've got your hydraulic legs and also your valve bank which we'll look at closely just after this. Now here's your actual controller where you've got your, uh, your start, your horn, your fast speed, slow speed, your, your borer which can go any clockwise or clockwise, your two hydraulic legs up and down, your ex extension in and out, your slewing of left and right, and the last one you lift it which is up and down. You've got your e-stop button on top which is just to press down when you don't want to use it, click it around and then it comes straight back up. To get this crane started all you do is you just press the system start which is down the bottom left, hold for two seconds and then the green lights flashes which lets you know the crane's in ready for operation. I'll run through a few of the, uh, the testing procedures, which is your lift up, lift down, which you've got fast speed as well. Now we do the slew. And then back to the right. Your extension can go out. For faster, you just hold down the fast speed button for, for that faster extending, and then back in, hold the faster speed in, and go all the way in, and that comes right back there. You've got your two stabiliser legs down here, which we can swing around and have a quick look at. Leg one, leg two. All it is is your leg is up and down. That's down, up, down, it's very basic to operate as well. Yeah. Okay, here's your electric valve bank set up that's going to be situated next to the crane. Also you've got your load gauge and plus your horn as well. So the horn is just where your uh, system start is, which is, there goes your horn. And we move down to the actual post hole borer uh, for operation. The two bottom functions, anti-clockwise and clockwise. So there's your anti-clockwise. And now there's your clockwise. Obviously that can drill right into uh, anywhere you need for it to drill. And yeah, so we go back to the uh, the crane itself and you've got the hose dragging system up that's up top as well to keep all the, the, the hoses in check so it doesn't look um, so they're not hanging out everywhere so you can't get your hands or anything like that caught. So there you have it it's a pretty basic setup you've got your remote control and when you want to complete complete the works or you just want to stop what you're using all you do is just press your emergency stop button and the whole system is shut down.